Hi, good morning. Welcome to Ikate's Crossing. What I want to do today is just sort of a little bit of an introduction to um, what cards I've sort of learnt so far with the Māori Oracle. With the imagery, you'll notice that there's no keywords on it. It's just the description of the item. Example, this is a Pahutakawa, which is a native um, New Zealand what we call like a Christmas tree um, at the moment and um, things. So this um, deck is quite different in that it's not, there's no keywords on it, but I really want to learn what um, the cards sort of roughly mean without having to look in the book all the time. So I've learned some of the cards, so I'm just going to go through really quickly. So we've got the Pahutakawa. And the Pahutakawa is about valuing what's really important that you actually have at this time. You know, what's important to you right now? Um, what do you have in your life? You know, what is what do you actually have that's really, um, you need to value that at this time. So this one here is about preparation, about being prepared. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? Kina is about everything being in its place, everything in its time and place. So everything's going to happen in divine timing. Kawakawa talks about change, necessary transition. So everything's happening um, as it changes and it transitions. Everything's happening because it needs to. It's important to your journey. Okay, the Pakaki is all about a sense of friendships. Um, friendships are really important and how they sort of, your friendships may change. Um, a sense of renewal and rebirthing within your friendships. You know, things might, um, it's about what, what friends do you have that are valuable. It's all about friends. This one here is about task, about focusing on the task at hand. Focusing on the task at hand. This one is all about determination, about being determined, being determined in where you are, what's going on. This is about um, a clear path, a sense of the way being clear. You know, you're being able to walk ahead in the direction that you actually want to go in. Here we have like a small nuisance, it could be a block. It could be something that's annoying, something that um, rubs you up the wrong way. It could be a delay in some way. This is about silence, meditation, reflection. This talks about being on the right path. Renewal, rebirthing. Totally about being renewed. Um, whatever is going on in your life, there is a feeling of sort of feeling like there's something new coming, it's a sense of some changes that is feeling like you're being reborn, if you like, or rebirthing into something new. Restrictions and being bound, or being um, being bound to something that's stopping you from moving ahead, so something that's restricting. This is about having faith, but it's also about being dependable. Um, people can depend on you for um, for what you what you're able to do, so people are able to depend depend on you. Um, don't let your ego destroy your goals. So don't let um, your pride stop you from moving ahead or from accepting help. Being un Unestimated, underestimated, should I say underestimated. So people maybe underestimate you or maybe you're underestimating a situation. You know, you, you don't quite have the bigger picture yet. So you need to maybe find the bigger picture. And this last card I'm doing at the moment is about favorable outcome. So feeling like there is a favorable outcome to the situation and what's actually going on. So let's do the cards that I've learned so far. Let's just quickly shuffle. Let me just put the phone here just a second. So 
I'm not doing all the cards at the moment. I'm just doing these few that I've learnt. And we're just going to do a what message do we need to know at this time with these few cards. Let's see how they go together. So we've got card number one, which is Perhutakawa. Then we've got Kina. And we've got Kawakawa. Okay, so the three cards we have is the Pahutakawa. So Pahutakawa was about valuing what you actually have at this time. So what do you actually have at this time that's that you need to value? Because it's all about things being in the right place at the right time, divine timing, or you've got the right stuff at this time. You know, you're in the right place, you're doing the right stuff. Um, but there may be some changes going on. There may be some necessary changes. So it might be a chance to you to accept what's actually happening for you at this time so that you can, val and it's also about valuing what you actually have at this time so you can allow the changes to naturally take place. So there you are. That's the Māori Oracle which I'm starting to sort of work through, which I know is a bit different. But I want to sort of really start to explore these cards properly. I haven't been feeling 100%, as you may have know, um, but I really wanted to really allow me to sit with this deck a little bit. So after a few days, this is what I've, just a few cards at a time, not overdoing it. But there we are, valuing what's really important at this time, knowing everything's in its time and place. You know, everything's happening as it should do, but there will be some necessary changes happening as well. So it's accepting those necessary changes as everything happens to be in its right place at the right time and valuing what you actually have as you go through the journey is really important as well. So there we are. Take care and blessed be, and we'll see you for part two at some stage.